Hello. Mission start. Okay. The foam stars are currently engaged in defending the energy cores in each area of Bat Vegas from the onslaught of bubble beasties. Citizens in the affected zones should evacuate. I barely broke a sweat. So what? Be careful! A large group of bubble beasties is heading your way! Roger, Spiky Beat should do the trick here. I'll get them foamed up all at once. We've got another caller on the line. Nicknamed Mr. Quaff, age 48. Ha! It's me, the legendary wrestler, Kawaka. I bet you can guess what I need advice about. That's right, it's my hair. me this. How can I decontaminate the city of those annoying party people? You want to get rid of them? Um... to be removed. Do you mind elaborating on why you hate them so much? It's... It's because I had a bad experience at a party one time. I get it. Hello. I, I just want to be Queen of them. Uh, I'll invite him along anyway. Final wave. Then in horn. Okay, then. Oh, 
10. You sure are, Soa. Soa, you remind me of me in my youth, you know. Ah, dan moeten we niet proberen, nee, hè? Moeten we alles spelen, hè? Goed of slecht, of uh, uh, iets tussen in, like this. Ik niet goed. We're done here, but something tells me I might be needed elsewhere. You're right. No one's defending Core Three, and the beasties are headed there. I'm the closest to it. I think. Okay, put on a commercial while I move on to the next stage. You know the telepathy amplifier that I made? Where did I put it? Mission start! Alright, no gincha. We have identified a change in pattern of the bubble beasties attacking the energy cores in Bath Vegas. They currently appear to be massing for an assault on Core 3, located in the center of town. I'm here! Ready for the show! Hello, Power Dan. and high level beasties are marching on your location! to talk to you. Should I put her through? Yeah, for sure. Uh. Okay, Zoa, I'm patching her through now. Hello? Oh, Zoa, thanks so much for having me. So, the reason I'm calling is... It's about my grandma, actually. Grandma, in the back country, before moving here, she stayed behind and is still running an ice cream shop in her village. Her homemade ice cream is the yummiest. I can't get enough of it. I eat like two pounds of it every day. Whoa! And I love, love, love for everyone in the whole wide world to try it. I think that would make everyone happy. My grandma included. That's why I decided to promote it at Foam Smash. 
It's keeping me so busy. I haven't been able to visit Grandma in a while. Mm -hmm. She says not to worry about it, but I think she needs to And that's been on your mind. You're very thoughtful, Melty. Huh? Of course. It's good if you visit your grandma when you can. I'm sure she's very happy whenever she sees your face. Absolutely. Alright. Shields. Oh me. It's just my personal opinion, but I bet she must be really happy that you love her ice cream so much. And that you're working hard every day to get more people to try it. Okay. Hello? Oh, Hello. Hello. My name is Marin. Hi, Marin. What's up? Dear Soa, I'm worried because I don't have any hobbies or special talents. I have no idea what I'd like to do in the future. Do you have any words of advice you could give me? Thank you. Hmm. Well, let's see. I used to be just like you. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I did like watching pop performances, but I wasn't interested in becoming a celeb. So how come that's what I ended up doing? I, um, I used to really hate my body for making foam. I thought I was a freak. And I didn't want anyone to find out about it. So, I became a recluse. But, you know, one day, I was walking down the street, and a little girl noticed my bubbles. And she said, with a huge smile, That's so pretty! I want to make bubbles too when I grow up! For the first time in my life, someone expressed sincere admiration for me. It made me think. I should stop hiding, that I could live unashamedly, enjoying myself, no more hiding. And once my way of thinking changed, the celeb life started appealing to me. Being a famous personality is all about letting your personality shine. So that became my goal. 
So, going back to your question, Mary, I think it's a perfectly fine not to have any idea of what you want to be the versus mode proberen. Zien dat dat wat beter is, wat minder gekwabbel. One day, you'll discover something that will become your passion. Yes! Oh, I'd never have guessed that you were like me too. So there is hope. Absoluut. Altijd hoop. Thank you so much. Graag gedaan. Hello. Smash the stars down from there. We should chill plays on the top of uh, things we should do.
na ander sies wannabe was kei tof dat we as we de apprecieert geen nou wat doen en we doen dat met kei veel plezier hoewel dat deze spelletje iets minder met plezier is en ik snap geen hol van die gebeurt Maar ik zou zeggen, al morgen zeker de wedstrijd in de gaten, nee, vanaf morgen. Tot hier toe hebben we toch al een dikke twee weken aan prijzen dat we in de planning staan hebben. Oké. Okay. Ja. Geen idee wat er eigenlijk juist allemaal gebeurd is. Maar echt oprecht merci, want allee, op zich is dat hetgeen waar we het liefst over babbelen. Hè. Is over games en over alles wat met games te maken heeft. En dat dan heel veel mensen dat dan plezant vinden en er van live naar meer luisteren of achteraf via Spotify of YouTube of terug via Twitch. Het is gewoon heel geestig en uh, dat we er dan ook zo fijne reacties op krijgen, dat uh, geeft ons alleen maar meer moed om verder te doen. En, uh, dus uh, absoluut een dikke merci, dat doet echt uh, heel veel deugd om uh, zo'n toffe dingen te horen. Merci. Ha, I'm just getting started. Uh, ja, het is open mee. Ja, en dus het kan je zien. I'm just getting started. Ja. Yay. So, the party's about to start. Ready for some fun? Get 
Ready? The party's on. Voorbij laten, denk ik. Voor... <laughs> Morgen nog eens proberen, maar. Uh... Man, man, man. Wat een chaotische warboel is dit. Yeah, ja, absoluut. Ik zal zeggen, een goede avond. Iedereen die aan het kijken is. Hè. Morgen probeer ik nog eens. Zien wat dat dan geeft. Misschien nog ondertussen nog een beetje oefenen. Nog een beetje oefenen zonder dat ik aan het streamen zijn. Want dit is uh, een schuimachtige warboel. Dus ik zal zeggen, een goede avond. En uh, tot morgen. En sowieso tot dinsdag. Voor onze Pragalicious Life. Ciao, guys.